Over 180 hangings are said to have occurred here. This is actually where they've seen the dark shadow. They have heard the footsteps. They hear things down here a lot. I heard that. Yeah, that's us. Hey Crypt Givers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt tonight. Jared and I are investigating the very haunted, notorious Skirid Inn. This is actually the second time that we have visited here and we had to come back because last time we were here we had so much activity. This place genuinely creeped me out. So it's been really high up on my bucket list to come back to. So I'm very, very excited tonight. And there's about a thousand years of history here. So stay tuned. The Skirid Inn, a gorgeous and historic little pub, known for being the oldest inn in Wales, but also one of its most haunted. During the Skirid's 900 year existence, it has seen its fair share of death. The building's earlier days saw its upper floors used as a courthouse, where prisoners could conveniently not only be jailed, yet also executed. With rumours stating that around 180 hangings took place right over the inn's staircase. No building gets away, unscathed by the paranormal, while having a dark history such as this. And there are said to be many resident ghosts at the Skirid Inn. Some say that a former judge still resides in the old courtroom upstairs, while others claim an angry hangman with a thirst for punishment lingers near the staircase, known to harm visitors who have even had rope burns form on their necks. Then there are other spirits said to linger, haunting the areas they were once imprisoned, still disgruntled about their executions. Though not all of the ghosts of the Skirids are related to the building's past with hangings, a priest is said to haunt the downstairs pub area, while a woman named Fanny Price has remained in the upstairs bedrooms since she died of tuberculosis in the 1800s. Many to enter the Skirid Inn have claimed to have run-ins with the paranormal, whether that be sighting shadow figures or apparitions, smelling scents that are out of place, hearing voices or footsteps, and even being overcome with dizzying sensations. Jar and I had visited the Skirid Inn four years earlier and had been keen to return since our last visit as we initially experienced so much. This time around, we would stay for two entire nights, the first of which we had the place to ourselves, and the second, we would share the building with our good friends Cag and Allison from Adelaide's Haunted Horizons. If you would like to see what happened during our second night, check the links below to watch Haunted Horizons videos. But now, let's get stuck into our first investigation, where we would be met with some strange occurrences immediately after I had finished filming the introduction to this very video. So stay tuned. Okay. Was that okay? You didn't hear a noise out there just then at the end? Like something shifting? No. Did you? I did, yeah. I was like, like so stay tuned. And then it was like, like something shifting. They say um, glasses move along the bar here. Maybe it's that. That's right. I do remember talking about that last time. How does the door work? glasses out here. True. We've already been hearing noises though. We have. I, I thought there was somebody else still in the building because the staff had gone home, patrons had gone home for the night. Now it's just Jared and I. But when we came downstairs to start like our investigation, start filming, we we're hearing things. We heard what we doors, uh, footsteps. It just sounded like there was somebody else here. But there's no one. <laughs> That's a toilet. You go in first. It's a men's. <laughs> so we're hearing. Go, 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 go. Gents toilets. The urinal's filling up as if it's just been flushed. Is this an automatic one? 
That wasn't going where we started, right? Ames, you don't need to film inside <laughs> the toilets, come on. <laughs> All right, not sure if that is on a sensor. Why would that go off? Can... That's not the first time a freaking toilet has flushed on no. us before while investigating. <laughs> well, we've had, we've had residual poops. Mm-hmm. This residual... Residual wee wee wees. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, Crypt Keepers, it feels good to be back and we are going to kick things off properly now. And if anyone else wants to interrupt us, any spirits here, please do. That's what we're here. We're here for you tonight. We're here to communicate. I don't know if you remember us. We were here about four years ago. My name is Amy and this here is Jared. I'm so excited to be back. It does feel really, really good. Oh my God. This place is one of our favorite locations. I've dreamed of coming back here ever since I left last time. Last time I'm here, we had so much activity. There's also some very touching, sentimental moments Jared and I will probably talk about related to the Skirit Inn throughout this episode. So excited. So this is the main bar, guys. Now already we had the urinals in the toilets, the gentlemen's toilets start filling up as if they were seemingly flushed. I don't know if that's paranormal. I don't know anything about urinals. Leave a comment. What do you think, guys? Was a ghost doing a wee? I think I can still hear it trickling now. Yeah, I was gonna say, it sounds like there's someone taking a leak in there. <laughs> Lads, I went in there. I actually couldn't see a sensor, so I don't even know how that thing flushes. This fireplace though, this is like, really really old right <laughs> like a thousand years no i don't know the skirt inn is actually the oldest inn in wales one of the oldest in britain in general it's almost a thousand years old 900 year odd years old did i just start flushing again i don't know okay anyway let's just keep going with this i can think of nothing scarier than a men's toilet just saying the door, the front door of this place has been carbon dated. It's about 1500 years old. That is crazy. <laughs> so much history here and we'll definitely dig into that as we proceed. But yeah, this place, very, very historic within Wales. I love it here. And there is a story with this cup, right? It's known as the Devil's Cup. Pick it up. <laughs> Let me I grab don't want to touch it. <laughs> Yo, Devil, I got your cup. <laughs> Apparently they leave a... Oh, there's nothing in... Last time there was a bit of drink, apparently you're supposed to leave a little bit of a drink out every night for the devil so he doesn't get, I guess, angry with you. So that's what the devil's cup is. We didn't know this at the time, but the devil's cup would become an interesting focal point during our investigation the following night with our friends at Adelaide's Haunted Horizons. Themes related to the devil's cup would pop up multiple times during different sessions in different places. Beer up again, beer up. Not beer. Beer. Devils. Oh. Do you think we're devils? Are you going towards that cup? Fallen. Cup. Cup. Oh, there's no beer in the cup. C-U-P, the devil's cup. To us, we felt as though someone wanted the cup filled, in line with the superstition of leaving a drink out to appease the devil and prevent anything bad from happening. When we had visited back in 2018, the cup did contain liquid, but talking to the staff before leaving, we found that the tradition of filling the cup hadn't been done for a number of years. So before our departure, we advised the staff that maybe someone wanted them to begin filling the cup once again. Now, if anyone wants to talk to us, please come towards these lights here on the bar. Maybe you can give us a name, maybe you can say hello, maybe you can tell us anything. This is an area where people have sighted apparitions. Primarily they say there is a, a priest who hangs around here. And if you can hear my voice, maybe you can share your voice with us. Can you come very close to us and say something? Last call at the bar. So last time Jared and I were here, we sat on one of these tables. I feel like maybe it was this one. What Ooh. the heck? You're getting magnetic spike yeah, on the table. Yeah, there's something in the table. It's um, got metal underneath it. So we're sitting on one of these tables. 
we decided to do a spirit box and an EVP session and we did get a weird noise that we didn't react to in the moment. And then in my video, I sort of asked my audience as I often do, hey, what do you guys hear? And there are a number of comments that said, hey, it sounds like this, it sounds like this. And a lot of them were related to being hanged or their neck, which is very creepy considering there are a lot of executions by hanging here. How did you die? But yeah, a lot of activity tends to happen down here. People see things. I was, I was talking to the, one of the staff members today and she said she hears footsteps and sees a dark sh uh, figure just through this door back here. Don't they say that ghosts like move drinks and stools and stuff like that as well? Yeah, there's a lot of poltergeist activity that has been reported here. So yeah, allegedly bar stools and beer glasses, pretty common. Picture. There are a lot of pictures here on the wall. Well, maybe they think we're taking you, their picture. Do you want me to take your picture? We are, we are taking your picture in a sense. So if you want to show yourself tonight, we might be able to see you. I feel like from memory there were pictures in here. Uh, wasn't there some really old pictures? I mean, there's pictures everywhere, right? This is literally where we were before. <laughs> that door there takes you to the kitchen. Okay. So just to explain, guys, I had just kicked things off for the night. Everyone had cleared out, the staff and the patrons. I stood on the staircase down here near the noose and did my intro. And as soon as I finished my intro, Jared said he heard something in the bar. So we moved in there. Even before we started filming that though, in this little hallway here, we heard something. First off, we heard a door. I was like, what, what was that? Like, is there somebody else in the building? Um, we, we just heard a bunch of noises. It really sounded like there was someone in here with us, but there wasn't. And they seemed to come from this corridor. And this is actually where the staff member on today told me that they've seen the dark sh shadow. They have heard the footsteps. They hear things down here a lot. So this is one of the more infamous places in the Skirid Inn the staircase, but it was also where allegedly a lot of hangings took place. Over 180 hangings are said to have occurred here. Obviously this noose here is a representation of that time and it's eerily just hanging down the middle of the staircases where the hanging supposedly took place. But what is really, I wanna say interesting, but at the same time it's quite gory, right above my head is actually the original hanging beam and if you look closely at the piece of wood you can see it has been worn there's wear and tear on it from the the rope so so if there are any spirits here any spirits from the past maybe this is where your life ended and i i'm sorry that that happened to you we've come a long way and we were just like to say we respect you and we would love to talk to you if you do have a message for us tonight please do not be shy please come forward and share with us Our good friend. Whoa, his eyes look menacing on the night vision. Oh, what the? They do. Every time you turn the corner, he's there waiting for you. <laughs> I just mentioned the hangings. We can see the noose here still, but there was a courtroom here. So people were imprisoned here. They were trialed here. They went through the court system. And then if they were found guilty, they could be hanged here. And they do say that people who are executed still linger, but they also say a judge still lingers and they also say a hangman still lingers. Now the judge and the hangman are said to be sort of nastier entities, more on the malevolent side. So hopefully we can interact with them tonight because that would be good for a video. <laughs> do you remember this, Jared? Yes, this brings back memories for sure. This, was this the first Jared cam we ever did? I feel like it was. It was a very primitive gyro cam session, that's for sure. This was probably the first Jared cam though, the first challenge I ever set for Jared. And he went into this prisoner cell in the dark alone. I remember that. And how long did you last? Well, about 30 seconds. <laughs> So part of it was, it is a really creepy room and I did get vibes in here, I remember. But 
if you watch the video, you'll notice I don't say much and it's because I also was quite shy and not someone that liked being on camera. And so I think I bottled up a lot of my emotions and feelings. So I think like Amy, like this is sentimental to me too. Cause I remember the first Jared cam and yeah, I think I, I was very scared at the moment, but I don't think I said anything. And it only went for 30 seconds, but it only went for 30 seconds because I actually didn't want to stay in there any longer. So it was definitely creepy, that's for sure. So this cell is sentimental to you in that you might want to go back in alone tonight? For fuck's sake, I walked right into that one, didn't I? <laughs> Shall we keep it to 30 seconds like last time? <laughs> right, here I go. So they would have kept prisoners in here, is that right? They kept prisoners in there who were waiting to be trialled or waiting to be hanged, essentially. Right, let me go in. <sighs> Hi guys, so last time I was here, as I said, I was very quiet, very shy, not just on camera, but also reaching out to spirits. Like, I'm not as good as Amy at like asking questions that, you know, although I think I have got better at it um, and more open to it. Um, so I guess I'll start by asking, is there anybody in the room with me right now? Are you able to come up to the lights on my lap here? You might be able to make some sounds or generate some words and it might help you let me know that you're here. Could have sworn I'd have seen a little flash of red light up there. I'm seeing orbs. Down. <gasps> Down? Do you not want me looking up there? Is that where you want us to go? Downstairs? There's a moth. Fuck. There's a fucking moth in here. It just flew at me. Fuck. Moth flew at me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Did you see it? It just came out. <laughs> it flew in my face and scared. Actually, I feel like that one was more traumatizing because of that moth. I'm gonna start with room one for you all, for this walkthrough. I actually have a little bit of a story about room one today and it ties into the cell that Jared was just in too. <sighs> okay, so I was sitting in room one. I missed it on camera, but I was just sitting on the couch in here, which I'll show you guys in a sec. And I heard a door squeak, loud like Rrr. This place is old, the doors are old. Granted all the doors probably squeak. And then I looked up, this freaking door had opened on its own. <laughs> Door one, no idea why. So I, I flicked my phone out and I filmed a, filmed a little vertical video that I was gonna put on my Instagram stories. All right, we have not even started filming yet. I hear a door screech. I look around and the fricking door entering into our room tonight has opened. Oh my God. Straight after that, stopped recording and then I was talking to Jared about it, right? And then we heard another door. <laughs> we look over, uh, come out here. These three doors up here, all shut. The one door left that had come open by itself, the prisoner door, the little cell down there. And now we just hear another door open. And it is that door to the fricking prison cell. We didn't see it. We literally just heard the door. This was whilst the pub was still open. So in my stories that I filmed, you can probably hear patrons down in the bar, but there was nobody up here. So I don't know what the deal with those doors is. Yeah, we, we've hired all three of these rooms, guys. So there's no reason anyone would be coming upstairs during the day or at night. Uh, so I can vouch for that cell door being open. And what's weird is I tried to replicate it. That's a stiff door. It doesn't, it doesn't swing open if you, you know, leave it there or anything like that. Just to prove. So I'm gonna close this door now. So it doesn't swing open. Even if I leave it slightly ajar, it doesn't swing open. So let's close it. If there is somebody here who is capable of opening the prisoner cell door tonight or any of these doors, can you do it for us, please? All right, so room one. Do you want me to go first? Heck yeah. <laughs> this is actually the room that we're sleeping in tonight, guys. Stalker. That 
is welcoming, is that what you go in trouble for? So someone following us, we just want to talk. So room one used to actually be conjoined with room two back in the day because it was one large room which made up the courtroom where people were trialed here. It is quite an active room and one of the most active areas is actually the bathroom. Go freaking figure. I have this theory about bathrooms, whether it's like the constant source of water in them that helps the paranormal occur. There tends to always be things that we pick up in bathrooms. There tend to be more active areas in my belief. And this one used to actually be a prisoner holding place. <laughs> it was a cell. And you can totally see it when you come in as well. I'll do the honors of showing you around this room. So you have to walk down a flight of stairs to get to your toilet and bath. So it's quite a weird layout. But if you think about it, like these stairs and like this rail, it has like a courthouse sort of holding cell feeling, right? Because you'd be here and then you'd have to walk up these stairs with your lawyers or whatever they called them back then into the courtroom. You know what I mean? Like... For sure. It's so weird for a bathroom to look like this. Yeah. It's like that's how you enter the bathroom down a flight of stairs. Yeah. But knowing the context of what this place was, it changes things up. Now, I'm coming in. I hope that's all right. I should also mention they say that the darkest sort of activity occurs around here. There could be someone lingering in here who is unhappy, disgruntled. And when I say darker, it just means that they do things that could be more aggressive. And you think if there were a lot of people trialed to be executed, maybe they were stored here. That makes sense that they could be unhappy with what happened to them in this building. Last time we were here, I had probably the coldest chill I have ever had whilst investigating. So Jared filmed my legs in, in the video and I had visible goosebumps all over them. I just got so cold as soon as we came in this room and I really felt as though there could be something around. So we whip out the spirit box. We start doing a spirit box. I felt the cold chill leave and dissipate. We got nothing on the spirit box. So I think that that's kind of interesting that we received nothing, but we received nothing after the cold chill had left. What was your crime or why were you being held here? Or did you work here? I thought I heard male chatter then. I was going to say I'm hearing voices. You heard that whispers. too? Yeah. I thought I heard that. Like male chatter. I didn't want to flat out say it because I was like, I wonder if the audio might just pick it up. But I just, yeah, it was very, very faint. Very faint. Yeah, like muffled behind the walls or something. Let's listen. So guys, this window. <gasps> Go to the window. Say window. Yeah. What about the window? What about the window? Shall we look out? I don't know if we'll see anything. It's a problem, I can't see out of there. What is your name? <gasps> My name is Amy and I'm here with Jared. Should we sit, is it? Yeah, you sit there. Sit by the window. Can we have your name, please? It was like it called us over here to talk to us. Yeah. Because we have been having really nothing come out of Ghost Tube, right? Not until now. It's like window, and then when we move over here, we get what is your name? Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us whereabouts in this room are you? We're not here to hurt you. Room two. This is my lucky number. This is where we stayed last time. Did you close the bathroom door? I don't see why I would have, because we- We have not been we in this been room. In this. We came in this room and looked around earlier and went in the bathroom. That's very odd. That, that is odd that's closed. I, maybe that was the door that we heard earlier. The creaking door? Yeah. Does this one creak? What the hell? What the heck? 
That was really weird. Was it locked? No, that was. Why was that so hard for you to open? That wasn't letting me open it. Close it and then see if it's easy to open. No, no, it's a bit. Oh, it's a bit dodgy. It's a bit dodgy. Okay, not paranormal. <laughs> I literally feel all the cold air coming out now. You've opened that. It does squeak. That could have been the. the it might not have been the prisoner cell door. Maybe it was this door. Maybe the cell door's left. I have no idea. They do say that number two is one of the more haunted rooms. I mean, they're also haunted. I'm feeling like cold air past me now. Is there someone in the room with us? Can you come towards these lights in my hand? Give me a sign, say something to me. I really feel like something just passed by me. Very cold. I mean, maybe it's still around me because I am quite cold. I'm just gonna throw this on the bed. So if someone wants to talk, head up towards the bed. This room was the one that was connected to the room we were just in through this wall here. This wall is newer because this was the courtroom. And I've heard weird things about that little area over there where the door was closed, a door we had not left closed because that was sort of where the judges would preside over cases, right? So it's an interesting area because a lot of things would have happened behind that closed door that would have decided people's lives, would have decided people's fate. Of course, people were trialed in here. A lot of energy could be left behind from that. But there's also one of the, the most famous ghosts from the, the Skirid Inn, a lady known as Fanny Price. Now she is very active in this room and also the final room that I will take you guys into. She died here during the 1800s of tuberculosis. She was very, very ill, passed away, quite sad. She was a, a like a landlord of the place, right? Landlady. Can you close that door for us? Can you just swing it shut? Now, what I just wanna say, it's probably gonna sound weird at first, but this bed is sentimental to Jared and I. <laughs> Bang on the Don't do that! Alright guys, don't worry, it's G-rated. The Skirid Inn was the place where Amy came up for the idea for Ghost Tube and she's telling me about this idea she had. That night when we arrived at the Skirid, I started working on it and probably wrote the first lines of code for it. And I would have been on this bed three or four years ago, whenever it was. We've spent years on Ghost Tube and all the other apps that have come after it. And I think it's just again reflecting back and thinking wow that was a long time ago but also not that long ago you know what i mean so ghost tube was conceived on this bed <laughs> oh my god <laughs> people are gonna think we're weird you're gonna have to cut this bit uh, no i'm leaving it <laughs> anyway let's walk in here and see if we get any <gasps> oh no what? what does that say oh what the f what does it, it say? says help it says what help it says? on the mirror yeah. With it, three finger line marks down here. What the heck? Well, I'm assuming they would have come in and cleaned this room before we were in here. Maybe they didn't clean the mirror or notice, but what if? I mean, the door was closed. It definitely wasn't closed when we came in here. You know what wasn't open either? What? This door. <gasps> what? This door wasn't open. What's in there? It's just a closet. But I have actually seen other videos of other people that have been here. And I remember the owner saying that this was a dark area of the building. That's creeping me. Out. I swear that wasn't open today. I, you know what? You would think, well, Jared, why would you notice? Like, why would you look at the door? As I said, I've seen the owner talk about this area. And I remember specifically remembering that he was standing in front of this door. So I did take notice of it for that reason. Like it could just be someone doing a little bit of a prank, like, ha ha, this is funny. But I mean, the help paired with the two doors that are open that we know were closed. I think that's odd. And we haven't been in here since we got here. We walked in, I filmed a little patron video sitting right here on this couch. That was it, we left the room. That was all open. Okay, this is Fanny's room. There's a pen in here. Why is the pen on the bed for? I have no idea. Guys, I know these, this doesn't, I know this like, oh, pen on the bed, who cares? I know it doesn't seem <sighs> that big a deal, but as I said, we rented out all the rooms, so they would all be cleaned for us, prepared. Why would there be a pen on the bed? Like, it, I'm just 
you know, I'm observing these things because it's just, this is like a hotel, right? It's just weird that there's a pen on the bed. <laughs> Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything. I heard tapping. <gasps> I can hear that. That's in this room. <gasps> okay, this is Fanny Price's room. She's commonly seen here or in room two. People smell her perfume, it tends to smell like lavender, old timey perfume. They have things sort of be moved and rearranged while they're asleep at night. It's also where we had some very relevant responses last time we were here. I just wanna say, Fanny, if you are around or if anybody else is here, my name is Amy and I'm here with Jared and we've come a very long way to visit you. We were here about four years ago and we loved our time here so much that we come back. We wanted to come back ever since we left. Now, if you could do something for us, maybe make a noise, move something, go towards the lights on the bed. Do you remember us? Again. <gasps> yeah, we're back again. I know that's like a poor choice of words, but like, it's sort of, I get what they mean, you know what I mean? Because I just yeah. said, do you remember us? We're back here again. Oh, I just got cold chills. Last time we were here, we were in this room. Jared got cold chills in this room. And I remember I was like, dude, I'm comfortable in this room. No cold chills, nothing. But he had, all his hairs were sticking up on his arm. He had goosebumps. It was weird. And we also had the best spirit box session here. One of the best, I think, that we have ever had. So I asked, basically asked a few questions. I said, are there any spirits around that would like to talk to us tonight? And we had a response saying, lots and lots of them. Then I said, how many spirits are in this building, in the inn? And it came through clear as a bell, 25. Straight away, 25. Hello, are there any spirits around that want to talk? How many spirits are inside the inn? Fanny, I don't know if it's uh, you that we're talking to, but I just want to say thank you so much. We appreciate it more than you know, just you doing what you can to talk to us. Is there any confirmation you can give us to say, yes, this is actually Fanny talking? Whilst we didn't get confirmation in this moment that Fanny was with us, we did receive some responses of interest, indicating she might be around during our investigation on the staircase the very next night. Price. Price. Fanny Price. That's Fanny's last name. Price. Oh. Fanny's last name is Price. Price. We'll have another. Yeah, we'll have another chance when Alison does her session in a bit. Medicine. Medicine. Fanny Price was sick with tuberculosis. Blue device is ready to pass. Yeah, she was. Perfume. Perfume. They say that people can smell lavender perfume in Fanny's room. Fanny's room is this one right here, by the way. Fanny. It does say Fanny. It just said Fanny. So we are going to the top of the stairs. Oops, I'll put you there. So I'm just putting ghost tube on the floor. If there's somebody around and you want to communicate, just head up to those lights there on the floor. Essentially, a former hangman is said to hang around. Pun intended. Good pun. <laughs> Um, he's kind of dark though, they, it's speculated and a lot of people tend to feel uh, things like burning on their neck and or choking feeling and I mean it makes sense with the noose here. Is that just a symptom of seeing the noose, knowing so many people are hanged here and feeling that that is happening to you? Or is there someone up here who is still doing their job? All I can say is it is definitely a long way down. 
At this point in the night, we decided to move our investigation into room 3, where the ghost of Fanny Price is most active. Although we would be focusing our efforts in this one place, we also set up two different ghost tube SLS cameras throughout the inn to monitor for activity. For these, we chose to document the prisoner's cell on the staircase, and bedroom 2, the former courtroom. But within room 3, we decided to reach out using an Estes method, which saw Jared wear a blindfold and noise cancelling headphones while listening to a spirit box, and relaying anything he heard come through while I asked questions which he was unable to hear. We decided to do this as we had a very interesting spirit box session in this room years earlier, and wanted to use the same tool in a different way. Additionally, we chose to put Jared on the headphones, as he had received a direct answer to a question he had asked moments earlier, and he had also experienced cold chills in this room twice before. Jared, can you hear me? Okay, he's in. Lights. Yep, I was just about to say we just turned off the lights. I Her. Hope that makes you more comfortable. Her. Who is her? We're not talking to Fanny, are we? I shouldn't be so rude. Again, I will introduce myself. My name is Amy. The man on the bed is Jared. Would love to talk to you come a very long way from a different country to visit. Hi, or uh, I like, or I don't know, woman's voice. Thank you so much. I hope that you like us. Last time we were here, you told me that there are um, 25 spirits in the inn. Are there still that many? I said it just. Uh, okay, you said that, that's okay. Can you tell me what happened here? Not that. Is there any chance you could go towards the red light on the bed? It won't hurt you. It just uh, lets me know that you're right next to Jared. I thought I felt the bed move then. Uh, thank you if you're trying to go towards- Collar, woman's voice, collar, important. Collar, important. So I feel like you're trying to give us a message and I thank you for that. You really shouldn't. I shouldn't thank you. I appreciate you communicating with us. I, I just want to be polite and respectful towards you. One. So there's just one spirit in here? Is it all In right? there, yeah. In there, yeah. Okay, one in here. One in the room. I think. So who is it? Can we have a name, please? Her. Her? Who is her? I have heard that there's a lady named Fanny around. Remind me to tell you after. Throughout this session, Jared would claim to feel as though something was touching his head, as if someone was playing with his hair. While this is difficult to see on the camera, something would later happen that would validate this feeling to me in a very eerie interaction. Now the room next door Jared and I feel as though we closed, or sorry, we we had the door to the bathroom open. God. God. You have to. Okay, we had the door to the bathroom open next door, but when we came back, it was closed. Can you tell me why that was? Sister, be my voice. Who is your sister? I have two sisters. You know it. I have two sisters of my own. I know who the sister is. Felt the bed moving again. Are you on the bed with Jared? That's okay if you are. But if you go towards that red light, that just shows me that you are there. Can you tell me how long you have been in here? So, so long. I'm in too deep. You're interesting. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you think that we're interesting. Is there something you would like to know about the world that we live in now? Can you touch Jared? He won't mind. Heads up. It's up. I'm here. You're giving me a signal? And who is he? Leave. Uh, 
Leave this room, leave the inn. Can you be a bit more specific? Your sister. Are you trying to kick out someone's sister? Or us? It's very... Very Getting what? cold chills. I was going to say I'm just feeling a bit uncomfortable and chilly. <laughs> yep, I'm getting cold chills now. If there's somebody else in here now, can you tell me? Really cold. Same. Is there somebody else in here? I see what you're saying. Yeah, I feel like we're talking to someone else now. All right, earlier I asked somebody to go towards the red light on the bed. Maybe you will do that for us. It won't hurt. That red light won't hurt. I'm going there. Just touch the light. That was eerie. God. God again. Yeah. You're religious then, right? George Hamilton. Thank you for sharing that name. Your full name as well. Who are you, George? Did you work in the courts or were you sentenced here? Leave. Who? Who do you want to leave? I'm getting the cold chills again. Feels like when the leave comes through, it's somebody, maybe there's more people talking to us, like it's somebody else, like it changes. I'm really cold. Why are you making me cold for? The loo? <sighs> okay, the loo. I know back home we, when we talk about the toilet, we say the loo. And I really think that is like an English, oh, we're in Wales, so I don't know if that's the same over here, but the reference Hello? of the loo could be toilet. Are we in the Just a minute. Room? Just a, and that's something you would say if you're on the loo. And we had the toilet flush downstairs. Why does it always circle back to the toilet on my channel? <laughs> what are you doing right now? It's incredible. I'm getting cold chills again. I am not shitting you guys. This is bloody weird. Hello. Hello. Who mm, am I, I like it. Who am I talking with? And I'm glad that you like it. No, it's not very good. Oh. Can I also say Jared's voice has just changed? How many, how many people are here with me right now? I know that it's more than one. Her. You keep saying her. I'm going to guess it's the same person. I will admit. Were you on trial here? Hello. What? Uh, hello. Thanks for joining us. I feel like something just tugged at my headphones a little bit. I literally heard them creak as well. I heard that. There's someone there. Can you just get on the bed? Can you jump on the bed? His ears. His ears? Did you just touch them? I tell you, he... I heard a click like up there right near his head and then he said it felt like someone touched his headphones. It literally, like, that's where the noise came from. She said. We had already had a number of very interesting responses come through the SD session, yet to me, this moment was the most compelling. Here, you can clearly hear a loud crack come from Jared's head, and right after this, he states that he felt as though someone had touched his headphones. He is clearly not moving at this time, and the noise paired of Jared's own feelings validates this for me, and in a way, allows me to share the experience with you via this video. Additionally, the first response to follow this event, his ears, seems to further indicate the potential involvement of a spirit in this moment. Hello, thanks for joining us. Hello, thanks for joining us. Someone messing around with Jared? I don't know if- It's Ju to the wall. To the wall? I'm violent. Uh, okay. You're violent. Were you um, imprisoned here? Your work. I'm a policeman. What were you on trial for? What did you do? T 
To be honest. You may as well be honest now. Whether you are guilty or innocent, right? He just left me. He left. Who? I didn't leave. You're still here. It really feels like there's more than one person having a conversation amongst themselves, not necessarily with me and Jared. Why don't you go on the bed with Jared? It was a woman. On the bed? Or the one that left? So none of these cat balls have lit up. The REM pod has not gone off. But I feel like they've all almost been talking to me when I've mentioned the REM pod. Are you okay? Yeah. Just gone a bit quiet now is all. Oh, okay. I was really in the zone on that one. All right, we decided to mix things up. Now we are in room one. We're in the bathroom. In the bathroom. <laughs> the very strange looking bathroom that used to be a prison holding cell. And this is the one area they say is pretty dark in the security inn. And we call out, we want to know if there's somebody here. My name is Amy, this is Jared. We were here many years ago and I remember feeling very cold in here. That's literally why I'm rolling on a thermal camera right now. We're also going to roll a ghost tube Vox session. Yep. But before we do, I just want to let you guys know that I've also set up a ghost tube SLS to monitor the downstairs bar area because activity can happen down there. People have seen apparitions down there. So we felt like that was a prime spot to place one of those cameras and see if we can map a figure. If there is somebody around, we're gonna put a device on that might allow you to talk to us. Could you not hear those stairs creaking then, or is that just something else? For someone on the stairs, just walk up to that red light, please. Hi, my name is Amy, this is Jared. Are we able to have your name, please? We heard there's someone who can be a little bit nasty, maybe is a little bit upset in here. What are you still doing down here? Not to speak. You can't speak to me or? Can you tell us what you're doing here? Were you, uh, were you on trial or were you a worker here? Like what, what, why are you here? At home. Did you steal something? What did you steal? They come. They come. Who's coming? Just look. Just, Just look. look. They can come in. Where do you want us to look? <laughs> Is there something funny? Do you remember us? We were here a few years ago. Can you tell us how many spirits are in the Skirred Inn still hanging around? Thanks for Anything from two. Come over. <gasps> come, come over. Come over here. Come over where? Where do you want us to go? She's not afraid. To... She's not afraid. I'm not afraid of you. Can you do something to that you think will scare me and make me afraid of you? I found it. You found it? What are we what are we looking for? What have we found? <laughs> Earlier we heard a couple of men having a conversation. We heard men's voices in here. What were you talking about? Over the... I just sent a flash on this. I wasn't watching the screen, but I mean, it, it's dropping in and out of heat if I look at the camera or not, but I felt like I just sent it flash. Did someone just come into the room with us now? Is there someone who is violent in the inn? Can you tell us how many people were hanged here? Shut up. Shut up. shut up. It just told me to shut up. 
Well, that's a bit nasty. Talking to Jared like that. Actually, I tell Jared to shut up all the time. <laughs> that was so clear as well. Okay, tell us what you want to talk about and we can talk about that. We probably keep prying into sensitive issues for you. Were you the hangman? Moved on. Moved on. Glad to hear that. Where have you moved on to? Or where did he move on to? Hell. Hell. I just said, I heard hell. Did you hear that? And I was. I said, where did he move on to? Hell. The voice was very creepy as well. That, oh, I'm getting it's all. Deep. I'm getting all cold chills. I'm getting cold chills just standing here. I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know if they're cold chills, but like that, hearing that, weird. What creepy. does hell look like? What does hell feel like? Good question. I thought it said the best. What does hell look like? How many spirits are here? Three or... Three or... Three or... Is that three? Is that correct? <laughs> I just heard movement up there. I thought it was this corner. Ooh. There's something in the room with us. What's in the room with us? I just heard movement up there. I just heard movement up there. I just heard a noise over here. Who is this? Oh, I don't like it here. <laughs> Why what's, am I standing here? <laughs> what's in the room with us? No one's gone towards this red light yet. Can you do that for us? <laughs> That's what hell sounds like. That did sound really weird, didn't it? It's like... They kill us. They kill us? Can you at least just tell us who you're talking about? Who went to hell? What's their name? You still haven't told me the name. Who was it? Who was it that moved on to hell? Brothers. 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 Sisters. Whose brothers? Is that relevant? What? You kept saying sister earlier. Oh, yeah. We're joining the SS. Whose brothers? Who are we talking about here? Help us. Help us. We bury, them. we bury them. I missed help us, but I just said we bury them. <laughs> I thought, did you just fart? No, it's just the creaking of the boards. No, I didn't just smell. No, I didn't fart. Not gross. No. You didn't smell that? No, but we are standing in a toilet. Yeah, but why would I just smell it all of a sudden? What do you smell like? Shit. Like shit poo. No, I didn't. You're going to leave this bit in. <laughs> What can it's we just smell? Like a waft of. Ugh, like. What can we smell right now? Death. Death. What can we smell right now? All right, who's the stinky one? What is this? I can't actually smell it right now, but they're just laughing at me. They're laughing at us. I just heard laughter. Then they're laughing at us. Laughing at you. They're <laughs> laughing at her. What is so funny? Guys, I'm just going to put on the white noise now because some people say that white noise can help conduct paranormal activity. All right, give us a sign. Tell us something that will wow us. The Australian. <gasps> oh, my <laughs> God. I just said the Australian. I heard that. Yeah, that's us. We're here. We're from Australia. What, what about us? Go. Go. Oh, that was so creepy. They were telling me to leave. Um, go where? The where do you want us to go? She's a Mary. Her. her. I kept saying her during the Estes as did. well. You did. You said her a lot. Is is this in reference to Fanny? Okay.
Okay, okay, we're in room two. This is one of the more haunted rooms. We swear this door <laughs> might have moved on its own. Mm. We and I swear. I say might, I say, I know that sounds weird, we swear it might. We don't know for sure. We heard a door move and we assumed it was the cell door, but when we came back in here, after no one had been in here, this door was closed and either of us closed the door. So I'm confused by that. It actually might not be paranormal. Maybe there's an explanation for it because we didn't see it happen, mm -hmm. right? I do think it's weird. I just feel like I heard a voice. Okay, we literally came in here to do an EVP, so I'm gonna set that up. So my name is Amy, I'm here with Jared. I call out to anybody here at the Skirrit Inn. If you would like to communicate with us, please come forward, come up to these lights on the bed and try to say something really loud to us. Can we have your name? Did somebody close this door earlier today? Can you tell us what your role was here at the courthouse? Order in the court. What was your sentence? This is probably just my eyes, but I'm looking in a mirror over there and I feel like I just seen something flit past the mirror sort of in the door. There's barely any light in here. There's just enough coming through the window that I can see the door though. Did I see you in the mirror? I think it is my eyes playing tricks on me because I'm seeing it again. That camera should see in the door though, I think. So. And I'm looking now too. I call out to anybody here at the Skirrit Inn. If you would like to communicate with us, please come forward, come up to these lights on the bed and try to say something really loud to us. Oh, okay, so the sun is starting to come up. Oh my God. <laughs> We are gonna go to bed. I am shattered, but I'm also really happy, really grateful, really excited that I got to come back here, that I got to investigate again, that I got to spend another night here at the Skirrit Inn. This place is amazing. I have you guys to thank for it. Thank you so much for watching my videos, su supporting me. As I always say, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, because that genuinely does help me out. If you want to follow my journey a bit more, I'm on social media at Amy's Crypt, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and I post bonus content on my patrons and my YouTube members. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.